is ABC 7 News at 11. We heard the launch of the cannon, and then we look back and we see the cannon flying, and then we just heard the impact of hitting the house. A Mythbusters misfire. The popular television science show sends one of its experiments hurtling into a Dublin neighborhood. Good evening, I'm Dan Ashley. Carolyn Johnson is off tonight. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but residents were stunned to find out that a cannonball came whizzing through their community. Here's what happened. The cannonball was fired from the bomb range at Camp Parks. It soared 700 yards into a house on Casada Place, bounced across a road, onto a roof and into a minivan on Springvale Drive. ABC 7's Alan Wong is live in Dublin with more on this. Alan, that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. It really is, Dan, and this is where that cannonball traveling at about a thousand feet per second shot out of the back of that wall of this home. You can see it where it left a hole in the bedroom wall, and this was just the first house it struck. Traveling at bullet speed, the cannonball bounced off this sidewalk, blasted through the front door of this home, and whizzed across the bedroom of a sleeping couple. But they didn't uh, actually hear the cannonball come through the house. What woke them up was the settling of the sheetrock uh, that woke them up. It punctured the bedroom wall, leaving a 10-inch hole, then bounced across four lanes of Tassajara Road into another neighborhood where Ming Jiang says it struck his roof. Yeah, that, that looks like a root tile. Jiang says his mother was taking care of his 10-month-old son. She had no idea what was going on. It was a very loud boom, and she thought a tree fell, maybe a meteor, but it was not clear there was some cannonball that landed on a roof. It ricocheted across the street and smashed through a minivan's window that Jasper Gill says he had just parked minutes before impact. And looked inside, there was a big cannonball. That was about this big there. That was a good five, ten inches. This particular myth was to see if other materials could be fired out of a cannon and would be as effective as a cannonball. Instead, the Mythbusters found out how effective a cannonball is when it misses its target. It was supposed to hit these trash cans filled with water, but it missed, ripped through a concrete wall, and skipped over a hill into the city of Dublin. I was scared. I'm uh, lucky that uh, we weren't, my kids weren't inside the van. The misfire was actually the third cannonball fired today. Neighbors say this is where the Mythbusters test many of their experiments, so they're used to hearing explosions out here. But now investigators show the, say the show has been put on hold following or pending a full investigation. Reporting live in Dublin, I'm Alan Wong, ABC 7 News. All right, Alan, thanks very much. Well. Earlier, one of the show's hosts tweeted that they were working with heavy artillery, perhaps a sign of what was to come. That tweet was later.